all right scorpio so this is going to be your june general spread keep in mind that is a general release not a message is going to resonate with you i'm pulling one card from the monology deck to see what is your overall energy going into june also we're going to be pulling cards from that deck at the end to see what else you need to know i'm going to be splitting your readings between two sides the first side is going to be personal and career which i'm going to be using the um gilded tarot deck and then the second side is going to be love life which i'm going to be using what is this the angel tarot deck the angel throw deck all right so with that being said let's get straight into your spread all right so let's see can i get one card for scorpio's overall energy what is scorpio's overall energy going into me what is scorpio's overall energy going to me all right Put that on the floor we have conclusions are within reach full moon eclipse and then we have you are very close to achieving your goals give you some moon all right i feel like there's clearly scorpio i feel like some of you guys are involved with a capricorn or you could have capricorn placements or just very strong saturn energy that comes with you but um scorpio see you holding on to things that are not serving you in order to reach where you really want to be in order to get to where you really want to be i feel like you might have a plan of where you want to be but i'm not really sure how to make that happen what's under that we have take a breath what take time to breathe out i said take a breath and then we have work through your fears new moon and scorpio under that yeah that's what i'm saying it's like i feel like you're concluding something that maybe you didn't want to end or you were afraid to end but i feel like it's something that you have to end in order to get to where you want to be or where you need to be all right let me just see let's start let's start with your personal and career all right we want to be pulling three cards for your personal and then we're pulling three cards for your career and then we go back to the personal and then we go back to the career just to see what the overall energy is for it and then i get more details on it all right so cool oh let me just stick to career first let me just stick to the not career let me just stick to personal first let me get that all right what's going on in or what can scorpios be expecting in their personal life what can they be expecting in their personal life during this time period for scorpios in june what can i be expecting three of swords in reverse the ten of swords damn i mean your overall energy is because it's are within reach give me one more what are they expe experiencing in their personal life and the three of wands damn 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 look at all this energy look at all this <sighs> what the hell <laughs> all right three of swords in reverse ten of swords and the three of wands kind of in a third party or some situation i feel like you're allowing a situation to end the heart of the spread is the ten of swords you may feel defeated inside a situation but i feel like you're being asked to move forward you're going to be moving forward on your own inside of a situation or going after your goals more i see you're going to be doing a lot of healing work but i have the hanging reverse of magician and the devil card you could have got involved with a situation that was not serving you or a situation that was tempting you that you know you should have ignored and i feel like it's something that you try to work on and just did not end up well i feel like it's a situation that you previously healed from all these threes in the fool that's what i'm saying there's there could have been conflict between you and a person but I feel like it's a situation that you already you already dealt with before, Scorpio. You already dealt with a situation before and it's like you're healing from it all over again. Alright, Scorpio, give me or you did you dealt with something close to it, but I feel like you're doing it all over again this time. Alright, Scorpio. So let me see. Let's pull some more cards, see what's going on. We have the five of wands. We have the hangman in reverse and the eight of cups. See, you're walking away. You're solo dello, Scorpio. Yeah, you're solo dello. I feel like whatever the situation was, I feel like it caused you a lot of conflict and chaos, nine of pentacles, being on your own. I look, the devil card of on deck. Didn't I keep seeing Capricorn energy? 
We have the hangman in reverse too. Pisces energy. Pisces, the hangman in reverse, it talks about feeling stuck or things moving in a cycle. That's what I'm saying. Something that you could have repeated for before. I feel like this is something that you had an ongoing cycle with. And I feel like you're finally releasing that that baggage because it was getting you nowhere. Seven of Pentacles upright talks about putting in all your efforts and energy into something. In reverse, is making that time and energy go to waste. And I feel like you're no longer wanting to do that. Let's get three more cards. Let me get one card and then I'll get three more. Yeah, Queen of Pentacles in reverse. All right. For masculines, it could have been a baby mother or someone that you could have someone that you could have dealt with for a really long time, but they're coming out in reverse, which is someone that's manipulative. Like they can manipulate you for stability. Six of Wands in reverse, the Knight of Cups in reverse, and the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. It's a karmic. A karmic energy. Yeah. Some of you guys with the nine of nine of um swords and the ten of wands. I feel like you could have been carrying on a burden. I feel like you have a lot of love for this person. I feel like you feel so much for this person. And I feel like this was an ongoing cycle, but there's like too much issues here. There's a lot of manipulation. There's a lot of hidden situations. A lot of things that people are not saying. A lot of things that are just Yeah. Four cups. I feel like Scorpio, you could have reconciled with something that you know you should have never reconciled with. And I feel like it's the same thing all over again. So I feel like you're feeling defeated inside the situation. So I feel like you're currently healing from it and moving on from it again. All right, so let's see. Let's see what's going on in your career life. Let's see what's going on in your career life. Whatever this is, I feel like it was with the Wheel of Fortune, it was blocking your success. Six of Wands reverse it talks about getting success and recognition, but it's in reverse. Whatever the situation is, it wasn't worth it. It wasn't, it was blocking everything that wanted to come in toward you. All right, what's going on in Scorpio's career? What can they be expecting in their career life? Um, for June. We have the two wands in reverse. The seven of cups upright in the death card. All right, cool. I feel like there's going to be things opening up for you. Ooh, please. Scorpio, now is not the time for partnerships. Scorpio, now is not the time for partnerships for you. Three of cups in reverse and the seven of swords. There's going to be distractions and temptations that come in towards you. Really, two of cups in reverse, and it's not going to be mutual. It's not going to be something... There's going to be temptation that comes towards you, Scorpio, and I feel like it could ruin things that you have already built for you. I feel like there's going to be opportunities that's showing their way in their face, and I feel like you could have a direct idea, a direct plan. Spirit is telling you to stick with your plan so it can end up, you can end up victorious, because usually in the regular or in every other death card, it's this man, he has a flag, and he's still, he's still on his horse, and everybody else is not doing well. <laughs> And that's how you're trying to be, Scorpio. But I feel like there's going to be things that come in and tempt you out of nowhere. See? Look, Queen of Wands in reverse. Queen of Swords in reverse. That's wanting to peek out. Ace of Wands. I don't care if you're a man or a woman. Look. There's things coming in to test you, to test your patience, to test what you really want. Page of Swords. It could be... You could be having your eye on an opportunity that you want, Scorpio. There's need for you to go after it. There's a need for you to go after that opportunity inside your career life. I feel like you're going to be in regret if you don't. The strength card in reverse and the ten of wands in reverse. And I feel like it's something that you're really good at. I feel like it's something that you can do really easily versus other people with the strength card. They have to work hard to master their skill. In reverse, you don't need all that willpower and strength and, you know, to do all that and to be good at something. I feel like it's something that's not even work for you. Ten of wands in reverse. Can I have three more cards for Scorpio's career life? And then let me get inside their love life. We have the sun in reverse. We have a lot of Leon energy. The three of cups and the justice. Yes. Scorpio, take this time away from yourself. Emotionally attached from situations. Like I said, I feel like there's going to be things that come in and try to tempt you that knocks you off wherever you have in mind at where you want to go. But I feel like at the end... At the end of the day, I feel like wherever you're trying to go, I feel like it will work out well for you. I feel like with a justice card, there's something that's happening divinely. I feel like it's a test to see if you really want what you said that you want. All right? So, let's see. Let's see what's going on with your love life. What's going on with... My brother just called me, and he's a Scorpio. So... We're in something, and he's dating a cancer, and their relationship is so cute. So, 
All right. Might be a sign for the Scorpio dating the Cancer. All right, so what's going on in Scorpio's love life? What can Scorpios be expecting in their love life? What can Scorpios be expecting in their love life? For June, for June, what can Scorpios be expecting in their love life? Scorpios. All right, so we have the Five of Pentacles. We have the Ten of Cups in reverse. Damn, I'm sorry. And that's sorry, but God damn it. That shit says release. Scorpio, the Sun in reverse, the Knight of King of Swords. God damn. Oh my gosh. And that's probably the reading I was doing over there. Five of Pentacles, Ten of Cups. Scorpio, there's this energy of you feeling unhappy or unsatisfied with where you are or relationship that you're in, but I feel like it's more you. With the or it's both, but we have the star in reverse. There's something that's not healed. There's there's things that are not healed. I see a separation or I see you releasing a situation because your overall energy is concluding over within reach. The eight of cups keeps eight of cups and the six of swords. Both of these cards talk about moving on and releasing things. You see how they're alone and moving the calmer waters? Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Scorpio, I got the Eight of Cups. The Eight of Cups, which is literally the Eight of Cups. Okay. Why is the Five of Pentacles here? Let me just get a story going on because what the hell? We have the King of Swords in reverse. Why is the Ten of Cups in reverse for Scorpio? You got a lot of reversals here. We have the ten, the ten of pentacles in reverse, clarifying the ten of cups in reverse. For the people who read tarot, they know. They know. They know. This is a relationship not having stability and not being emotionally, not being fulfilled emotionally or financially or just physically. Why is the star in reverse? And the eight of swords. Bottom of the deck is the magician in reverse. Damn, Scorpio. Page of Cups. I feel like you feel like somebody's playing games with you, Scorpio. You could be flip vice versa, whatever the case is, but someone's not being honest. With the King of Swords in reverse, King of Swords in reverse, he could be a liar sometimes. Five of Pentacles. I feel like someone could be lying about what they're doing. Who they who and the Five of Pentacles talks about being away from somebody. Someone could be lying and saying that they're away from somebody and they're actually not. Someone could be lying and saying they're not speaking to somebody because I mistakenly almost said this as a knight of swords. Someone could be saying that they have not spoken to someone or they, they're not speaking to someone and they actually are. Or they're still in communication with a star in verse and eight of swords. You could feel it in your dream, Scorpio. You could feel it in your dream, Scorpio. Eight of Swords and the Star in Reverse. I feel like your dreams are telling on somebody. Ten of Cups in Reverse and the Ten of Earth. And I feel like, like I said, this is something that already broke apart before. Ten of Cups in Reverse and the Ten of Pentacles in Reverse. Like, it wasn't really stable. I feel like you've seen this as a person that you wanted this with, but you couldn't get that because of their actions. Why is the Five of Earth in Reverse and the King of Swords in Reverse here? For Scorpio's love life. We have the Page of Cups in reverse now. Wow. Page of Cups is an offer, something genuine, someone trying to tell you something. But in reverse, it's not genuine. It's not genuine. And then we have the Eight of Earth in reverse. An ego. Someone hasn't released somebody, a situation, because it says a new person, but it's in reverse. So a past person. Someone hasn't released a situation that hasn't worked out for them in the past. Their finances are, their finance, first of all, whoever this person is, the finances are disgusting. Um, I feel like whatever this person is, who to tell, I don't know if it's you, I don't know if it's this person, but who, to tell who this person is, the one that's lying is their finances are disgusting. Five of Earth, Five of Pentacles talks about money lack. You have the Eight of Earth in reverse, um, not really doing well in finances. Ten of Pentacles reverse, not really doing well in finances. Then we got ego. Someone's keeping somebody around for their ego. Whoever this person is that they said they're not speaking to, for their ego, for ego purposes. Page of Cups, something's not genuine here. Why is the Ten of Cups in reverse? What's the Ten of Pentacles in reverse? We have the Knight of Earth. And the chair in reverse. There's a lot of delays. Things are taking very slow to move forward. And we have the strength card in reverse. That's what I'm saying. 
This isn't your first go around with this situation. And then we have the Empress in reverse. I feel like things are moving very slowly, but the growth is not coming. It's giving the Seven of Pentacles in the reverse. Scorpio, Seven of Wands. I feel like someone's claiming that they want your love, but they're taking too long to make it happen. They're taking it too long to prove it. They're taking too long to prove it. Strength caught in reverse. They're not fighting for it as much. Or it's like with the chair in reverse, there's a lot of holes, a lot of delays. It's like slow to, to give small pieces of stability. Why is the star in reverse and the eight of swords here? I got to call my brother after this. He's not going through this. Hopefully, he's not. But he's definitely not. Right. We have the Wheel of Fortune. We have the Seven of Pentacles. Ah, and the Three of Fire. Scorpio, you have a new beginning waiting for you. Away from somebody, whoever this person is. Scorpio, there's a person. Whoever this person is, I don't know why that's coming up. Scorpio, this person is person saying they're not speaking to you and they may be speaking to this person. Whoever this is, they're on their vibration. I have the Wheel of Fortune, Seven on Earth, and the Three Wands. Baby, whatever you're waiting for somewhere else. <laughs> whatever you're waiting for is somewhere else. Because the Seven of Pentacles, right? The Seven of Pentacles talks about waiting for something that you want to come in. The Three of Wands talks about waiting for something that you want to come in and it coming. Then you have the Wheel of Fortune here, which is the perfect timing, but I feel like it's when you get yourself out of this situation, and the dreamer is a fresh start. There's a new beginning, and when I say new beginning, it's new money, new love, new everything. Yeah, the Star in Reverse. It's because you keep trapping yourself. With the Star in Reverse and the Eight of Swords, you keep trapping yourself in a situation that you already healed from. I feel like there's a need for you to allow somebody to miss out on an opportunity with you because they missed out on it a few times and they're not getting the memo. Give me three more cards. Because it said you're very close to achieving your goal and I feel like your goal is on the outside of this person. King of Cups, a different water sign, okay? Your, whatever you're looking for is on oh, not from this person. I feel like this person, whoever this person, let me just get three more cards. That's too many cards. I just seen a lot of cups. I just seen the two of cups, three of cups, the high priestess, the three of pentacles in the reverse, and the seven of swords. Listen, Scorpio, there's a need for you to trust your intuition. With the high priestess, seven of swords, and the three of earth, I feel like you know what goes on, and I feel like you know what's happening, but you have a hard time trusting yourself. I feel like you wait for proof, but you don't need proof to believe. Um, what is that saying? What the heck is that saying? Seeing is not believing. Yeah. Seeing is not believing. And then the bottom of the deck, we have the world. I feel like you could feel pulled to this chapter or this cycle, but there's no growth inside of it. Give me, give me, give me the eight of cups. Yeah, there's a need for it to walk away from me, mostly detached from it. You might have a desire to move on from this already because you feel like, yeah, Scorpio, there's new love coming towards you. Yeah. I feel like you are very attractive too. You are extremely attractive, Scorpio. I feel like a, a lot of people are looking at you and you're looking at this specific person. And I feel like there's a need for you to get over the situation. Because whatever this situation, this person has a lot of ego. They have a lot of ego to them. And they're not being 100% truthful. They could be saying, they okay, the story I got here is you could be dealing with someone. It could be taking a while to get to things or get to commitment. This person could be saying that they're not in communication or not speaking to someone, but the truth is they actually are. Um, even if it's not like romantically or heavily, but this person is in communication with someone. See, look, Ace of Swords. This person is speak Ace of Swords. Communication. Clear, back and forth communication. There's a lot of clarity coming towards you as well. But as well as it's taking a long, a long time to build stability, like there's a lot of love there, but it's taking a while to build stability. This person has a lot of ego issues, but at the same time, I feel like you're elevating Scorpio and I feel like you're having a hard time leaving the situation in the past. It's a situation that you've been through before. It's a go around cycle and I feel like it's a little different, but there's something that's off about it and you're having a hard time trusting your intuition. I see that you're really good on your own. With the Nine of Cups upright and the Queen of Pentacles, I feel like you have a lot to make. There's a lot that you're supposed to be making inside this lifetime. Yeah, Six of Fire, a lot of success. That's, and this is your very close 
close to achieving your goal. That doesn't mean you're going to take time away from the situation. So you can, and you may have a hard time. And we have prosperity lies ahead. Listen, I just stuttered because I just got a, like a bubble of channel messages at the same time. But yes. Oh, look what wanted to come out. A new start is coming. Yeah, there's a new start that wants to come towards you, Scorpio, in your love life. But there's a need for you to step away from the situation. Because it's like, it's like, for example, say... It's like the janitor. Who did I say that for? I think it was for. I, I don't know. It was. It's like a janitor dating the CEO, and they're dealing with the freaking another person who cleans the bathroom. Allow them to be with the person who cleans the bathroom. All right. Can I get three cards for Scorpio? Can I have three cards for Scorpio? Can I get three cards for Scorpio? Can I get three cards for Scorpio? What's going on with Scorpio? Can I get three cards with Scorpio? Four Scorpio? Alright, we'll see what advice or what more information that you need to know, Scorpio. We have a new romantic cycle begins. What the hell? We have a fiery climax approaches, full moon and Aries. I feel like you might have a conversation. It's time to get rather than take the energy is getting momentum. I feel like you may have a conversation with this person about it too, Scorpio. I feel like you may have this uh, uh conversation, but I feel like you accept the situation for what it is and you just allow it to happen. I feel like you're just tired. But it's time to get rather than take expressly when that card comes out. It's a time to give to yourself. Like I said, you have a new romantic cycle. I feel like your your energy is raising. Your it's gaining momentum. Things are improving. I feel like. I feel like, yeah, the energy is getting momentum, but I feel like there's a new romantic cycle coming towards you, and I feel like, I feel like it's coming pretty soon, but it, you have to allow yourself to release things that don't serve you. Can I have one more? And then we have meditating, contemplate, new moon of Pisces, trust your intuition, a personal issue reaches climax. Trust your intuition. I feel like some of you guys could be stressing about the situation. Look, new moon eclipse, expect proper change. Some of you guys could be stressing about a situation that's already being worked out for you. All right, meditate and contemplate. Yeah, I feel like you have a great connection with spirit. Don't lose it. Don't lose it to external figures or, yeah. But I do see a conversation that's going to be had between you and this person about it. So, Scorpio, that's what I have for your June spread. Everything's going to be down in the description box below if you want a personal reading on my social medias. And with that being said, I will see you guys next week.